Hello all and welcome to select EV news. Last us talks about some interesting and amazing news which was happened in this week. And here is our first news. Tata Motors launched customer deliveries of the electric mini truck Ace with price starting at Rs 9.99 lakhs ex showroom. The company will introduce the electric mini truck in 10 cities starting with Delhi, Pune and Mumbai followed by Bangalore, Hyderabad and Chennai. The first fleet of 25 vehicles of the Ace EV was delivered to e-commerce, FMCG and courier companies like Amazon, Delivery, DHL etc. Ace EV was unveiled in May and signed collaborative deals with players like Amazon, Big Basket etc. to supply the vehicles with orders for 39,000 units. The makers claims that they see a good interest coming from FMCG firms parcel and courier companies. Unveiling the product last year, Tata Motors has looked to fine tune it and prove its performance across applications and regulated battery standards. The introduction of the Ace EVs on India roads marks a big step forward in the journey towards zero emission cargo mobility, the spokesperson said. Tata Motors said the Ace EV is the first product featuring its Evozen power train that offers a certified range of 154 km on single charge. It has a 27kW motor with 130Nm of peak torque. Tata Motors has launched its mini truck Ace with a conventional engine in 2005 that sold over 20 lakhs units in total. Wanted to look at electric vehicle dealers? Find more than 2000 dealers in Select EV application. Wanted to locate charging stations for your electric vehicle? Find more than 1000 charging stations located in Select EV application. Wanted to know the available electric vehicle models? Find more than 980 electric vehicle models in Select EV application. Wanted to know the availability of electric vehicle spare parts? Select EV application is one stop solution for all your electric vehicle requirements. Coming to the next news, Bharat New Energy Company BNC is the new brand name for parent company Boom Motors. BNC functions with a goal of transitioning the world to new sustainable energy starting with electric vehicles. Anirudh Ravi Narayan, CEO BNC expressed his happiness in deriving the energy from sustainable resources. BNC also reintroduced its electric bike named as BNC Challenger S110. It is the country's strongest electric bike that offers warranty, value for money, convenience and comfort. If booked now, it is open for deliveries from 2023. Next, we are moving to the other news. Ampere launches new anthem to introduce its new e-vehicle Primus. Conceptualized by famous innovations, the song features MC Althoff, EPR Iyer, Siri, Yangasta and Killa K to celebrate the upcoming era of progressive India. The main idea of this anthem is to inspire the young India with its e-mobility solutions and also promote clean mobility solutions. This anthem paves a way towards maintaining sustainable future of roads. While the entire globe appreciates India, the campaign focuses on gullies, stating that when gullies progress, the nation progresses. It is the first multilingual rap to celebrate the Gully Power. The brand communication partner Famous Innovations has taken up this creative idea to step up the nation, the CEO of Greaves Claim. Melvin Zeko, the creative head of Famous Innovations, has also expressed his happiness in depicting the original beauty of India. Here is our next news. Tata Power announced its nationwide plan of setting up 25,000 electric vehicle charging points across the country. The company's high-tech electric vehicle charging solutions will be showcased at the ongoing Auto Expo 2023 in Greater Noida. A first-hand experience of the technology that is driving Tata Power's widespread EV charging network. EZ Charge was provided to the visitors, including one of the most downloaded mobile apps for EV charging, Tata Power EZ Charge. The app helps commuters find the nearest charging station and relevant details or updates. The center helps in the effective operational management of charging stations across India. 
It provides over 3,600 public or semi-public charges and more than 23,500 residential charges. Many of these charging stations were also equipped with fast charging technology and will be available at various strategic locations such as malls, hotels, airports and office complexes. The NOC additionally supports quick problem solving, backend system support and proactive planning for charging infrastructure upkeep. Tata Power has been at the forefront of providing EV charging solutions across every nook and corner of the country. Head for Business Development EV Charging Tata Power has also stated his idea for a pan-India charging stations. The charging points are in alignment with National Electric Mobility Mission Plan which aims to develop electric vehicle charging infrastructure using the latest technological platform along with easy access to charging points for electric vehicles. Next, we are jumping to the other news. Maruti Suzuki India has unveiled the first of their EVs, EVX. The EV SUV design has been co-developed in partnership with Maruti Suzuki and Toyota. The brand has plans to start the production of the Maruti Suzuki EVX by 2025. The Japanese automaker Toyota will also launch its version of the Maruti Suzuki EVX which will be domestically produced and manufactured in Suzuki's Gujarat plant. The specifications include a fresh and smooth body design, the front end featuring a sleek headlight design with LEDs, infotainment touch screens, 60 kWh battery pack and a range of 550 km. Next, we are moving to the other news. BYD first launched an electric luxury MPV for sale only to commercial fleet operators, the BYD E6. Then, it launched an electric SUV. And now, it wants to launch electric sedan in India. Something only BMW has done with its i4. Thus, the BYD seal, unveiled at the 2023 Auto Expo in Delhi. The BYD seal has three powertrain options. The first two are single motor rear wheel drive options with 201 bhp and 308 bhp each. The third is dual motor all wheel drive option with 523 bhp. 700 km of range travels from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 3.8 seconds. Weighs 1900 kg with the dual motor setup. BYD has confirmed that India will be getting the BYD seal around. Q4 2023 and deliveries will start around the festive season. The increase in the number of charging stations across the city and a hike in fuel prices shoot up the demand for the electric vehicle market in Kerala. Of the 7.83 lakh vehicles registered in 2022, nearly 4.6% are electric vehicles EVs, 39,564 numbers, an increase of 1.13% from the previous year. Nearly 2,967 EVs have been sold in just the first 18 days of 2023. This is a whooping 7.92% of new vehicles registered in the state and more than the twice the number of EVs sold in 2020. Eldo Benjamin, Senior Vice President, Sales and Marketing at Nippon Toyota, also shared his views about this increase in demand for EVs. The surge in demand is despite EVs costing significantly higher than their petrol and diesel counterparts. The easy availability of charging stations has also helped the case. The Kerala government's recent move to provide a 50% tax reduction for hybrid and electric vehicles for five years was also a major catalyst for this recent surge in EV sales. The Kerala State Electricity Board also pioneered the concept of electric pole charging. It now intends to set up 1,500 charging stations across the state. At present, the state has over 1.64 crore vehicles with an annual increase of 7 to 8 lakhs per year. Of them, 98.52% rely on conventional fuel. Here is our next news. Tata Group is planning to set up electric vehicle cell manufacturing operations in Europe, which will also sell battery cells to the wider market. The intellectual property heavy facility will produce two cell chemistries, lithium iron phosphate for Tata Motors EVs. 
nickel manganese cobalt for the indian automaker as well as the jaguar land rover the plan should help the company better control critical parts of the supply chain which has faced disruptions globally during the covid pandemic i hope you people like this video if you like this video please do like share comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel see you all in the next week thanks for watching